at the jingle of the bell over the front door of Starfish Bay Mercantile. Lindsay Collier put aside the town council meeting agenda she'd been perusing and looked up with a smile to welcome the new customer. But her usual cheery greeting died in her throat. The man who'd entered the store was a stranger, a scruffy one. And she didn't trust strangers, especially scruffy ones. She gave the tall, lean, mid 30 ish man a rapid scan. His dark brown hair needed a trim. His cobalt eyes were bloodshot, and his worn jeans and faded black t shirt looked as if they'd been slept in for several nights. Standing slowly, she kept him in her sights as she edged toward the button that would summon the police and the drawer that held her compact Beretta. Can I help you? The man angled toward her. For a long moment, he studied her, faint furrows etching his brow, as if he were assessing her or the security in the store. Both were formidable. But please, God, don't make me prove that, she thought to herself. Swallowing past the fear congealing in her throat, she wrapped her fingers around the handle of the drawer and eased it open. He cocked his head and squinted at her. Lindsay Callahan? Her hand froze, and she gave the stranger another once over. Nothing about him was familiar, yet he knew her maiden name. Have we met? The barest hint of a smile played at his lips. Long ago. Nate Garrison. He didn't approach her or extend his hand. That was fortunate. She didn't want to be rude if she did happen to know him, but neither did she intend to let her fingers stray far from the 911 button or the gun. I I'm sorry, the name isn't ringing any bells. He shoved his fingers into the pockets of his jeans, a muted flash of disappointment echoing in the depths of his irises. You may remember me better as Nathaniel. Nathaniel. The image of a pale little boy with light brown hair and thick, always smudged glasses flickered across her mind. But he'd come and gone quickly in her life, and she'd only been, what, eight, nine? She hadn't thought of him in years. Her hand hovered over the gun. You lived here once, right? Briefly, he surveyed the store. This place hasn't changed much in 25 years.